Smart investing on a small budget. A common myth about investing is that a big fat bank account is required just to get started. In reality, the process of building a solid portfolio can begin with a few thousand or even a few hundred dollars. Here is some specific advice, organized by the amount you may have available to begin your investments. And cover some smart moves low rollers can make to kickstart a savings and investment program. For strategies to start. Whether you're planning to invest a little or quite a lot, in safe bets or high-risk gambles, these steps should help get your plans off on the right track. Automate savings. The diligence to dependably set aside a certain amount in savings every month will reap the rewards in the long run. If you lack the willpower or organization to do that alone, technological help is available via smartphone and computer applications. The apps that make saving the least painless are those that round up your purchases and other transactions to the nearest dollar and put aside the savings. Acorns, Capital and Chime all round up transactions from your credit and or debit cards and return the money to you in savings-friendly vehicles. Acorns puts the money into one of several low-cost ETF portfolios. These are good vehicles for small saver capital adds the option to automatically transfer money, based on the rules you choose. Deal with your debts. Before you begin to save, analyze what it's costing you to carry debts you already have, and consider how rapidly you might discharge those. After all, high-interest credit cards can carry rates of 20% or more, and some student loans have interest rates over 10%. Those rates are higher than the average annual earnings of 9.2% or so that the U.S. stock market has returned over time. Consider your retirement. A key goal of saving and investing, even at an early age, should be to help ensure that you have enough money after you stop working. One priority in your planning should be to take full advantage of the inducements dangled by governments and employers to encourage retirement security.